All right, I want you guys to guess. Out of the two cameras you're looking at right now, which one's a DSLR camera and which one is a webcam? Did you guess right? And so in this video, I'm gonna show you how to get the DSLR quality visuals from a webcam just like this. We're gonna dig into some of the settings you can change on your webcam, some settings you can change in OBS as well, and some of the interesting features this Meet 2 OBSBOT camera has to offer. So let's get right into those details. In this video, I'll be using the OBSBOT Meet 2 4K webcam. Some of the features on this webcam are a fast autofocus, AI auto framing that we will test out in this video, high resolutions up to 4K 30 frames or 1080p 60 frames, and we'll go into why you'd want to use both, built-in dual omnidirectional microphones, and it's a super simple setup. If you want to check out this webcam, make sure to follow the link in the description and pinned comment. Okay, first to get a decent quality out of your webcam, you got to figure out what programs are going to interact with this webcam, right? So what we're going to be using here is one is going to be OBS right here and also the default app that comes with uh, every OBSBOT camera. Now every webcam you do get should have its own software developed for it as well. First let's start off with the webcam features themselves right so first I'll let's do a fuck we'll look at HDR that can get a little wonky and weird I don't use no one really messes with it too much. Uh, focus you generally want to keep it on automatic unless you can be a very stationary type of capture right like say if you're just kind of always sitting in the same exact position in your chair every time that could totally work but if you're kind of up moving around which we'll showcase later in this video autofocus might actually work out better for you there and next we're going to be talking about the exposure here this is going to basically showcasing how bright the image is going to be right so say if i turn this compensation down right here you'll see how my webcam gets pretty dark but i turn it back up back up to zero if i go above that that will kind of get washed out so you need to find a nice little middle ground there uh, next, you get anti-flicker. Don't really mess with this one a whole lot, right? An important one to get down is white balance. Uh, you can see right here, if I turn on white balance uh, on auto, it does a pretty decent job, right? But things look kind of yellow, kind of like awkwardly kind of saturated in a weird way. Um, if I turn that off, you can actually change the different types of Kelvin levels, Kelvin being the temperature of the sensor, basically. So the lower the Kelvin, the more blue it's going to be. And the higher the Kelvin, the more orange it's gonna be. I find right here, my sweet spot is about 47K during my current setup. Again, everyone's setup is gonna be a little different depending on the different types of light that's gonna be coming in, right? Then different color lights are gonna be coming in as well. Very important to keep it in consideration about trying to get that proper setting, right? And then next we're gonna be looking at image here. This is something you could probably mainly mess around with with OBS, but for right now, I like to kind of set a nice little baseline of like getting everything in the camera exactly how I like it. And I think right here, right now, for the current lighting situation that I have, a nice little boost in saturation, a little boost in sharpness. Can't get the hues just right, and also have the contrast kind of levels just turn properly. You can see a pretty decent shot right here. It definitely has room for improvement. You can see all the darks, especially the blacks that's behind me, are a little too black. They're a little bit washed out. So this is where we can kind of go into like OBS and really kind of tighten things up a little bit. So right here in OBS, you do a right click on your webcam here, and then go to filters. This is gonna be a very important part for you to check out. Now, I already have my filters turned on. You can see how it looks with them turned off. It looks a little dull, a little less exciting, right? So I turn them back on. Things are looking pretty good, right? It's kind of like how you would want to have your entire camera look, right? Again, this is with the turned off, with the set sharpness and also color correction turned off and turn back on. So what exactly did I do to get this setting properly just right? Well, if you look right here into the color situation right here, I have gamma turned up just a little bit. The contrast is turned up a little bit as well. Brightness is kind of left at about the same, right? Again, this also kind of depends a lot on the lighting of your camera as well, but I also have saturation turned down, or turned up just a little bit extra. Again, here you can fine tune things a little bit more to your liking. I have the hue turned to just exactly the, to default as well. And this is where you really get a chance to really kind of fine tune things exactly what works out best for you. And like I said earlier, a really important thing to choose is resolution and frame rate. With this OBSBOT 4K webcam, it does 4K at 30 frames or 1080p at 60 frames. So it kind of depends on exactly uh, what kind of videos that you're creating, right? If you're doing kind of more stationary, kind of sitting in a chair, talking at a camera kind of videos, then 30 frames should be doing just fine. But say if you're doing gameplay, gaming kind of stuff, have you at 30 frames, but then your content being at 60, you have a little bit of a disconnect there, so that's where like maybe downgrading to 1080p, 60 FPS might be the best call for you. The best way to do that really is again go a right click on your OBS cam or OBSBOT cam here, and then you go over the properties, 
And this is where you get a chance to choose whether or not you want to do uh, different types of resolution. Like right here, I have it set to 4K. If I want to do 1080p, and I can also change the frame rate right here to 60 frames. This might change a little bit when it comes to the lighting a little bit as well so as the refresh rates a lot faster and also the resolution being a little bit lower. But you can see how now being at 60 frames, you can see how like it was a little bit more dull on the details of my face and stuff like that, but the motion is much smoother, right? So if you're doing a lot of movement, which we're gonna showcase in a minute here, of some really cool features this Ozbot camera has, then maybe 60 frames might be the way to go for you. Here's a quick test I did of 4K 30 frames. Take a look at the motion of the arms and the choppiness compared to the 1080p 60 frames. You can see when you're in motion, having the higher frame rate definitely comes off a lot nicer. Interesting features with this OBS bot though, if I raise my hand up in this situation, you can actually see the camera actually zoom in. And if you wanted to zoom back out, just put your hand right back up. Now, if you want to be in a different position and have the camera follow you around, say if you're maybe doing a live stream and kind of walking around talking to chat, you want to make sure you're in frame. That's where this Ospot feature comes in. Also, if you put your hand up in an L shape like this, not only for your forehead, but also for the webcam itself to kind of have a nice cool zoom feature. But not only does the Ospot camera come with excellent quality, but it also it does come with a built-in microphone. What you've been hearing so far in this video has been this blue Yeti right here. But if I switch it up right here, you can hear the audio from the uh, webcam itself right here. Now it might not be the best quality, but it gets you up and running, right? And I think it also does a great job of maybe being like a good like travel kind of webcam as well. Right now to carry like a full on microphone in my bag, I can at least carry this webcam with me if I wanted to record something out on the street or something like that, you know, then this webcam could do just fine. But I think an actual microphone might be the better choice for you. And like I did starting out this video, guys, you can see a nice little visual comparison between the DSLR camera, which is going to be on your screen left and on screen right is going to be the Ozbod camera right here. So you can see the visual difference between like this high quality camera and a webcam that's rather affordable and pretty easy to find and much easier to set up. So if you guys want to check out these Ozbot cameras, I got a link in the pinned comment and in the description of this video to check them out, guys. Ozbot has been awesome, guys. I really like their stuff and, uh, you know, definitely we'll be seeing it more here on the channel. But if you guys enjoyed this type of video, like and subscribe is always appreciated. We'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.